Three, if the, publish, if the product gets funded, Next chapter will publish, distribute, and pay a royalty on every copy sold of the book. Now, just last night, I contacted author B.J. Mendelson, who wrote the book, Social Media is Bullshit. He published this book with a traditional publisher, and he is so fed up with traditional publishing, and he is so enthusiastic about our idea, that he immediately emailed me back a sample of the book idea that he has. It's called People Are Assholes, The Asshole in the Workplace. And he is ready to tweet out his idea to 757,000 followers that he has. And he's ready to do it as soon as we go live with any hashtag or ad symbol that we want. And we're really excited about that. Also, on this bus trip down, we stopped at two sponsor companies, Sprout Social and Emma Eno, and we pitched them on this idea. And they sent us a book idea that they have, both of them. And those are going to be on our site as well, for you to find. Um, the story of Rackspace is an amazing story. I would love to get a sample chapter of that and see if the crowd would like to see the full story. Uh, I have a feeling that some of you out there have a book idea that you think would be great, but you don't want to spend a lot of time writing it, researching it, and waste your time if it may never get accepted by a publisher. Well, come to the next chapter, put up your idea, See what the crowd thinks. We'd love to publish you if you get up there. Thank you. I love this idea because I'm, a, I'm writing a book. It's called The Age of Context, and I, I totally hate uh, publishers. But we, we published a book with Riley before. The book industry is totally being demolished because of e-books, right? Let's be honest about Amazon and what they're doing for the book industry. They're completely demolishing the book industry. And so the reason we went with Wiley for the first book was you need to get on the shelf. The, now there's no shelf anymore. you got to get an icon into Amazon, which means doing all sorts of social proof, all sorts of you know, uh, getting people to talk about your book. That's why we're talking about the book. That's why we're writing it on our blogs. That's why we're publishing it on Forbes before it's even published. And we went with a sponsorship model similar to crowdfunding, where Rackspace and Microsoft and Beta Works are paying for the for the production of the book. Is there a way for you to put not just crowdfunding where you're going to take $25 from you know, people who want to copy the book, but let sponsors from companies actually enter in their $10,000 or $50,000 sponsorship and get something more tangible than just a copy? Or is that already included in the crowdfunding model? Chris Courtney works for the Chicago Tribune. He has a good well, I, I think, uh, first of all, the sponsorship model has worked out pretty well for uh, the publishing industry as we continue to look away from the, uh, the uh, paid ad model and we continue to search for new, new models for that. But I would say that um, I, would, I wouldn't say that anything about our model is, is completely baked out. Everything needs to be metric tested. Everything, every little variable needs to be tested one at a time in a very lean manner. And that's exactly how we, how we intend to approach the Mendelssohn uh, case where, yes, he has thousands of Twitter followers, but that is not a metric in and of itself. Conversion is the metric that we're going to be testing for. And we see that as, as a key point. Um, and we're very excited to have authors like that on board because that gives us real, uh, real data to work with. Do you, are, are you, uh, have you read Guy Kawasaki's book called Eight, Eight Author, Publisher, and Entrepreneur? You guys should, because he's written a book about self-publishing, and you should get featured in his book. By the way, because you can electronically publish, you can update his book, and he's already done it twice that I know of. Um, and you should have him on a featured on your homepage talking about this new self-publishing model. One, one thing he spends a lot of time in the book is not just uh, getting it funded, but actually getting it produced and getting uh, paper copies in people's hands and getting uh, that, that text file you are writing in Microsoft Word up into uh, Amazon and into other, other, other e-books. Right? So I actually did already publish. A, um, um, it's, it's interesting because I'm always kind of reminded of it every now and then. And it sold 25,000 copies, but I was also, I sell published. Now, this would have been an awesome platform because I could have just put this out to Coffee Cup users and said, Hey, I'll write a book if you pay for it. Instead, it was in reverse. I'm writing, you know, full well, the publisher is not going to want to publish a book on the web to make. 
but I knew that my users would want it, so it was kind of a marketing tool at the same time. And we were kind of self-sponsoring it to get it done. And I love it. I love I love the concept of this because it's already I love crowdfunding in general, but I like how you're already going to micro crowdfunding. So I mean if everyone in the crowd should take a note that we could be doing this for all kinds of stuff, right? Because we've seen Dart is doing it for the for the car. You guys are doing it for the book, and I love ideas where we already know that we have that big general crowdfunding thing, which I think is a commoditized piece of crap in general. But I love the fact where I can get right into the stuff that I'm invested in. And so as a marketer, one of my biggest struggles is finding enough content to sell the stuff I need to do. And you know, you gotta focus when you're doing your startup, but for me the reverse of this would be awesome. Like I want someone to write something, but I don't know how knowledgeable you really are on the subject, if it's gonna flow, if it's gonna feel like I want my brand to feel in those content. That for me, being able to do this in the reverse, say, I want this, and then I can see, and then decide who to fund from that. Uh, just a question about um, any of your logistics, or, or you said you're going to, you know, have publishers ready, or you know, book bound, you know, shipping everything. Like, how much of that do you have lined up? How much of that is ready to go? And you know, like Robert said, the, the book industry is already going, you know, rev revolutionized right now. How how are you prepared for that? Sure. Well, I've been a publisher for 13 years, as I said. So we have full distribution contacts in the bookstores, the libraries, the wholesalers, etc. And to be honest with you, our print sales have been flat the last few years as ebooks have come. So people are still buying ink on paper, and I think they always will. Yeah, the Barnes and Noble stores are going to contract as they have problems and buy their business digital and print. The print's going to be there, and the digital is just going to be pure profit. Cool. I, you know, I, uh, if you keep going on, and I think you, you probably will be, um, other judges will ask about the business model. You know, is there enough of a business idea here to really become a big business? And I'll dig in on that a little bit. So be prepared for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.